In this series, we're moving our music library out of iTunes directly into Serato DJ Pro. In part one, we moved our entire music library out of iTunes and deleted the iTunes folder and turned off iTunes in Serato DJ Pro. And in part two, I showed you how to organize your music into individual genre crates like this, all within Serato DJ Pro. In part three today, I'm gonna to show you how to add new music into your Serato DJ library. So step one is to download new music from your favorite record pools. I do recommend Heavy Hits Record Pool. I'll leave the link to it down in the description down below. And to get your first month for $4.99, use the code DJCB in the checkout. Now, once you've downloaded all your music from your record pool, it's probably gonna appear in your downloads folder on your computer. Step two is to move all these files from here into the auto import folder inside your Serato folder. So if I copy all these tracks here, I press copy, then I'm gonna to go to my music folder, go into my Serato folder here, and go to auto import. Then what we're gonna do is paste everything inside here. Auto import will import all your tracks into Serato DJ Pro. So when you open up Serato DJ Pro, there's gonna be a brand new crate in there called latest import with all these new tracks. What you wanna do as well is go back to your downloads and just delete everything inside here, just so you don't have duplicates on your computer. So what we're gonna do now is open up Serato DJ Pro and have a look at this new folder that's gonna be created. Right, now Serato DJ Pro is open. If you see on the left-hand side, you're gonna see a new crate called Latest Import. And now it's gonna have all our tracks that we've just downloaded from our record pool. So what I normally do when I add new tracks into my Serato is have a look at all the meta tags to make sure everything is correct. So what I'll do is, on some record pools, they might add some comments and stuff like that. So what you can do is delete some out of here. You can also update the genre. So what we're gonna do is update the genre for some of these. So you might wanna change this from remix to R&B. You might wanna change these to house. And then you might wanna change these to hip hop. Uh, hip hop and rap. So now this is all well and good. You've updated your meta tags and all your tracks are in Serato DJ Pro. But if we scroll over to the right hand side, you're gonna see that the location of these tracks are inside a folder called Serato Imported and then Latest Import. Now, you obviously don't want these tracks here. You wanna have your tracks organized into the music folders that we created in the previous video. So what you can do inside here is go to your Files tab, head over to your Music Folders folder, and obviously we've got our three genre crates. We've got hip hop, house, and R&B. What we can do is highlight all the R&B tracks, pick them up, hover them over the R&B folder, let go, and then we're gonna click remove original references from library and then move them. So now, once we've moved them, if we highlight all these R&B tracks here and go over to the right, all these tracks are now moved into our music folder and into our R&B folder. Let's do that again for house. If I highlight all the house tracks, drag them over house, click remove original references and then click move. You can see that all these house tracks here are now in the house folder. And then last but not least, let's do the hip hop folder. So if I pick these up and go to hip hop, remove, press move here. You can see that all these hip hop tracks here are now in the music folder inside our hip hop folder. Once you've done all that, your music is gonna be in the correct place on your computer in the, in the correct music folders, and then you can organize your tracks inside Serato DJ Pro however you want them. So that's the end of the series on how to move out of iTunes into Serato DJ Pro. I hope this was very helpful and I hope you are able to move your complete music library out of iTunes and manage it directly in Serato DJ Pro. Now that you've watched this video, check this video out here to see the top 35 tips and tricks in Serato DJ Pro. I'll catch you in the next one.